Within the mists of time lie buried uncoverable answers to history's most compelling questions. What really happened to the lost continent of Atlantis? How did ancient Greeks possess the technology to create the Antikythera mechanism, and what did they use it for? Why did hundreds of people suddenly start dancing in the streets of Strasbourg during July 1518, and then, just as suddenly, die? Who was Jack the Ripper? And finally, where did Amelia Earhart end up? These questions pale to the ultimate mystery. It's the mystery behind something that has touched us all and will continue to touch generations into the future. It's the mystery behind a trillion dollar industry. It's the mystery behind something so simple, so common, so obvious, that no one bothered to write it down. It is the birth of the world's first hamburger. Did the 1904 World's Fair in St. Louis really inaugurate the Hamburg Sandwich, as purportedly described in a New York Tribune article that same year, and as taught by McDonald's famous Hamburger University? Or was the first hamburger made in 1900 at Louis' Lunch, a diner in New Haven, Connecticut, as reported by the New York Times, and recognized as such by the Library of Congress? Or did Fletcher Old Dave Davis first place a ground beef patty on bread in the late 1880s as suggested by the Dallas Morning News. And if the hamburger really was first invented in 1885, either by Charles and Green at the Atagami County Fair in Seymour, Wisconsin, or by Charles and Frank Menches at the Erie County Fair in Hamburg, New York, which fair occurred first? Join me as we explore these various origin stories and use classic crime-solving techniques to reveal the answer to one of history's greatest culinary whodunits in Sherlock Holmes and the Shrine of the Four. And a half? Are you interested in finding out who done it? Read Hamburger Dreams, how classic crime-solving techniques help crack the case of America's greatest culinary mystery. Available in fine bookstores everywhere, and in an ebook edition too.